Hello guys, Soul is here, and I am going to be showing you how to complete the week three challenges. So this week, uh, if we go and take a look, actually I'm a bit late to doing this, about a week late. Anyway, uh, it's pretty simple. It's just like a lot of repetitive dropping back in as far as like the free challenges go. And then just a couple rather easy um, other challenges. So anyway, um, the first two challenges, those are actually really repetitive. So the first one, it wants you to um, come down here and land at Lone After that, it wants you to land at Pleasant Park, then at Lucky Landing, then Lazy Links, then at Tilted Towers. So there's a couple ways to go about this one. Um, for the first thing that you could do is you could just straight up drop there and then die in the match and then land at the next place and do that again. Um, but if you're able to get into either a rift or um, what's the other thing called? The jump pad or launch pad. If you're able to do, uh, if you're able to get into one of those places by using those, like landing there. Um, then it'll give you the credit in the same game. But I don't know if you can actually do it in the same game. Uh, I didn't test it, which I should have. But anyway, uh, you might be able to do that, or it might just require you to finish that game first. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to land at all of them in the order. Um, it might just be easier to just go ahead and jump out the bus and land there. But in the off chance that you have like a rift, and the challenge is available um, to you after you've already you after you already visited the uh, same place in a match. Then just go ahead and uh, use the rift before you enter that area. That way you uh, paraglide down. There. So the next challenge in the free pass is also really simple. Uh, you just need to use these. Um, what are these called? The and the name's really blanking on me right now. Zip line, jeez. Anyway, you just use the zip line in different matches. Um, this actually is really easy to do. There's usually a zip line really close to all the places you have to land. So if you do them all in a separate challenge, you could land here at Lonely, and then take the zip line, and then you could just jump off and get the challenge done. Um, that's how I do it. Just try to get all these challenges done as quickly as possible. So then for the uh, third challenge, it's Legendary Weapon Eliminations. So the best thing that I have to tell you what to do to complete that is uh, if there's like a solid gold mode or any sort of special mode really, they usually drop more golden weapons, especially things like the food fight mode. Um, that's going on right now, and it comes back every once in a while. So, modes just like that, they're going to be the best and easiest way to get the legendary weapon eliminations, just because they're more readily available, and mood modes like the uh, food fight, you're able to just respawn with your weapon. So, you have a huge chance of getting that legendary weapon elimination. All right, and then the uh, week four, or the fourth challenge in week three. I better get out of here. The fourth challenge is searching chests either at Tomato Temple or at Polar Peak. Uh, I would say that the best possible way to complete that is definitely go to Polar Peak. You can get it done really quickly. There's typically a lot of chests there and people usually don't land there too much. So it's actually rather worth it. Um, I mean, you could do it at Tomato Temple, but it's just kind of harder to find enough chests in the same round. Whereas if you go to Polar Peak, you should be able to complete it in one round. So what else do we do? So ringing a doorbell in different name locations. Okay, so not everywhere a doorbell, so let me go and test that out really quick, and then I'll kind of find the quickest path. I 
think I have a path, but I'm not 100% sure. Alright guys, so I left that last match, and I came here to Paradise. This is what I think the best uh, route is going to be, especially if the bus comes any other way than from right over Paradise Palms in the beginning. Uh, what you want to do is you have to ring the doorbell, and then go to a different location and ring the doorbell there in the same match. So there's usually a lot of rifts around here. And I'm hoping that there's one over here. If not, then I suppose I'll have to go to another. Yeah, here we go. So right over here, um, after you ring a doorbell in Paradise, if you can hop over here, just grab one of these rifts. And then you can easily just paraglide right over to retail. Now Keep in mind that retail is kind of more busy a lot of the times. Uh, I was I was lucky because the bus kind of came in from up here to Haunted and then went down to Paradise. So shouldn't be too busy. There's a guy right there. That's fine. We can just go right past him. Um, that house doesn't have one. Okay, so we had to go down here. Either way, it's still not too complicated. Uh, just come over here and then ring the doorbell. Now, of course, you can do that with any buildings uh, or any uh, little town um, as long as it has a new house with a doorbell. Uh, but I just think that paradise to retail is really easy because even if there's no um, rifts right up here in paradise, then there's still. Oops, then there's still usually like some just in this general area down here or over here or even back behind sometimes so there's just a lot of rifts in the area that you can easily jump in and then uh, go take care of this challenge pretty easily um, I would not suggest really doing it from like tilted somewhere just th kind of this retail salty tilted all this central area is obviously going to be really busy and as far as the outside areas go Paradise to retail is going to be your easiest bet. Um, this snowy area, there's usually people try to kind of land back here a lot and get those planes and get all the chests. So, what I'd suggest is just go Paradise to retail and you'll get the challenge done nice and simple. Alrighty, guys, so right here in uh, just this snowy area is the search between three lodges. So there's one lodge, there's a second, and then there's a third. So, it's actually really quite simple to get. You could land at those lodges. Um, there's usually chests and such in there, so you can just play a normal game. And all you gotta do is come down here and collect this. And there you have it. Alright, so I will kind of just show you some quick tips as far as three okay as far as the uh, deal damage with different weapons and so I will be right back for that one all right guys so here we are in the food fight LTM uh, there's other ones that are kind of similar to this where you would respawn anyway this is probably gonna be one of your easiest ways of getting the uh, pistol eliminate or not eliminations just dealing damage with it if you don't want to have to keep respawning in the same match if you're not very good with the pistol so in this mode like I said you just respawn um, there's other similar modes where you would respawn and there's some modes like 50 v 50 where you don't respawn but there's like a lot of people um, solid gold uh, you get the golden weapons which kind of helps you with the sniper portion so there's a lot of just similarities uh, between these LTMs that will make it easy. Anyway, so see there, not good at the pistol right there, but I still got some damage. So the first one is shotgun. I don't think it's going to have much of a problem for most people. But this mode, I guess you could also do it in this mode. Uh, it, 
be easy with any sort of shotgun. But the thing that's the best about this mode is you can find pistols and shotguns and if you're having a little bit of trouble you can usually hit somebody and it'll just take a couple rounds. But some people have trouble doing damage with uh, sniper rifles. So if you notice, uh, occasionally there will be some airdrops around here. On top of the fact that there's just chests and at the beginning of this mode you can go out here like... I don't know, if the circle's right here, you could make it to Tomato Temple. Because also in modes like this, you can build up, and then you can just simply glide wherever you want. So if you build high enough, then you'll be just fine. So anyway, all you have to do is just uh, go find a sniper, pretty simple. And then you're able to usually just take care of someone really fast. Uh, so as far as all that goes, that is actually makes it really easy. Uh, again, you could do it in regular matches, but this is probably the easiest way to get the uh, most, like the fastest and the most damage, just because you're way more likely to get the golden snipers in modes it, like this. Pretty much most LTMs. Um, the, all gold LTM is a really good one. And the reason you want that is because uh, it takes oops, it takes three hits with like the green hunting rifle and it can take two to three um, with the blue hunting rifle and same thing with the blue bolt. Um, it's one or two with the purple bolt and the purple um, heavy sniper and the only one that you're almost guaranteed i think technically it can do less than 200 but usually you can find somebody with less than 200. well i guess that doesn't matter you're not going for it forget that um you need to deal 200 damage you usually can deal 200 damage fairly easily with the golden heavies and you can find those easier in this mode than most other modes or in like the all gold LTM like I've seen. So uh, yeah just go into one of these LTMs if you're having trouble with dealing damage and it should be rather simple for you. Uh, I will show you where the uh, the hidden battle star is here shortly and then that will be it for week three. Okay guys, and so here is the uh, loading screen that you get for this week, the week three of uh, Snowfall anyway, as you can see in the middle of the picture in that hangar, Battlestar. Um, so that's where we are going to be headed. Okay, so here we are, we come down right into here. It should just be goes right up there. There we go. Just collect it. It's just right here in this easternmost hangar. And then you're set. So there you have it. Uh, that is all of the challenges done for week three of season seven of Fortnite. So if you guys found this useful and you want to see more, uh, I will be doing week four literally right after this. So uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, just drop a like if this was helpful for you, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I am Solus, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.